They can't search y'all for no reason, man. Ask him if you're under arrest. Ask him what. Hey, thank you, bro. Yeah, you're welcome, man. I'm not interfering. I, I will put you in a car if you're going to continue take, to talk to them look, while they're doing this. Let me teach you something, man. You don't think interrupting our traffic stop? How am I interrupting? Well, like, you know, we're trying to take... You're sitting in your car? No, when we're on the 5-9 and J stop, we're trying to conduct investigations on the side of the road. How did I interrupt? You're yelling over us. I wasn't yelling, I was talking. But over us. You pull that shit <laughs> me, I, I will have you in a lawsuit so fast, it'll make your head spin. Well, I hope you do. What's up, everybody? This video was recorded on Friday, April the 26th, and this traffic stop just literally happened right in front of me, so it's fresh. These cops immediately go to pulling these young kids out and putting handcuffs on them. You guys aren't going to believe it. It's going to get wild. Y'all enjoy it. Later. Why are they putting all y'all in handcuffs? I don't know, sir. It's kind of crazy. sets of handcuffs. They can't search y'all for no reason, man. Ask him if you're under arrest. Ask him what. Yeah. They say we we're not under arrest. Why are they searching you, man? I don't know. Don't say. We don't know. You can't search him without. With, I'm asking the questions, man. You're not involved. You're just you're just putting your hands in their pockets, man. Are they under arrest? That's a Fourth Amendment violation. That's a violation? Huh? That's a violation? He's violating your rights, man. He's searching all these guys without their permission, man. Hey, you don't got tatted up since the last time I've seen you, man. Good lord. You gonna get the other arm done soon? Alawar. What's going on here, Alawar? They jerked all these guys out of the car, immediately put them in handcuffs, and now they're digging through their pockets. They haven't even told them they're under arrest. Well, what the f is going on? Did you just rob a bank? Can you not talk to me, please? All right, well, I'll talk to them, too. I'm not committing a crime. You guys are violating their rights, man.
I mean, if they're under arrest for a crime, then then okay, I get it. You know, there's a detention and arrest, right? Well, what are they under detention for? There's a traffic stop. So they're, being, they're all detained. Yeah, but they don't. That didn't give them permission to dig in their pockets like that. Now they're digging they're through their out. car. He's got problems. What's? That's what I'm trying to figure out, man. Uh, why am I going to pull a report if I can find out right here? He hasn't even told th these guys. Don't even know what's going on, and they're all in handcuffs. Yeah, but that does. Is it, is it illegal to have an open container in your car? But the search. So that gives you probable cause to search. Oh, he found that. He found that after the search. Jesus Christ. You know how many cases get dismissed because they find something on an illegal search? Yeah, so you guys just violate rights immediately and let the judge work it out. That, that's not a good way to look at shit, man. So you would rather let a potential drunk person go? He found that in the... So they can run into somebody, some golf cart with kids on it. I would rather them not violate these guys' rights. So you're saying violate everybody's rights, search everybody's... Violate everybody's Fourth Amendment rights. Yeah. No, no, that's what you're saying. Rights, if we found something illegal, they deserve. No, that that's what you just said. Rights, we found we found a beer, so their rights deserve to be violated. No, that's what you said, man. You're justifying them getting their car searched because there was a beer back there. That's what you just said, man. Yeah. That ain't how it works. That ain't how it works. We found a beer, so that justifies our search. That doesn't justify your search, man. No, it doesn't. Not unless they saw that before they started searching. That's all I'm trying to figure out. I mean, he didn't freaking find it immediately. He was digging through the back seat and then pulled that out. I can't see shit, man. Yeah. Why are they all in handcuffs, though? All four of them? For one beer can. And they all got their pockets searched for one beer can? That's what you're saying, Alan War? That one beer can justifies all of them cops digging through their pockets. Man, you guys have got to learn, man. Y'all ever pull that shit on me, I will sue every one of y'all. I hope you do, too. This is ridiculous. They didn't even ask for... A beer can gives them the right to put their hands in their pockets? Crazy man. Don't answer questions, bro. Ask for your lawyer. Don't answer questions. She said all four of them should be in handcuffs because there's only two cops. That's what you said? That's what you're justifying? Officer safety is more important than their rights. Man, y'all make yourselves look bad. I don't have to do anything. They teach y'all wrong, man. <laughs> Violate everybody's rights. And if they have an education or money, then they can take y'all to court and make y'all pay for violating their rights. That's the way you guys play. Violate everybody's rights and only a small percentage will make you guys pay for what you did. That's what y'all do, man. It's bullshit. All I'm doing is documenting it. Y'all do that shit to me, I'm gonna make you pay for it. <clears throat> Y'all probably get away with it with these guys and most most people.
of this over one beer can. In the back seat. Hey, thank you, bro. Yeah, you're welcome, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, you'll see this video on Harvey Freebird. So you were driving, bro? Yeah, we were driving. You got a license? No. What, what were you? He's just getting right now. Yeah, okay. getting. Okay, well, they, getting. okay, well, then they were justified in putting you in handcuffs. What'd they put the other guy in handcuffs for? Hey, they can talk to me if they want, man. It's a free country. Right? Yeah. If you don't, you guys have got to learn your rights, man. What law is that? Stop moving around. Lawful command. A lawful command means there's a law behind it. I, I don't need your name and badge number. This is the department test for steroids, LOR. Do you guys get random drug tests? Steroids? Yeah. Hey, what's your name and badge number? How you, how you, how you spell it? When was the last time the department tested you for steroids, man? What's his name? I can't hear. Nobody else has to identify except the driver. Don't give him your ID. Don't give him your ID unless the driver. I'm not interfering. I, I will put you in a car if you're going to continue Tech, to talk to them look, while they're doing let this. Let me teach you something, man. Texas Penal Code 38.15 is... I'll their investigation. I'll answer any questions that you want. All right, so, answer this question for me. Question. Texas Penal Code 38.15, what does it say? What? You don't know? That's, that's, that's the penal code for interference. In subsection D, it says talking cannot be interfering. It's a statute, and it says a person commits an offense of interference... If a person interrupts, disrupts, or impedes with criminal negligence, that's a very important word right there, criminal negligence. Me telling these young men their rights is not criminal negligence. And as I was just saying about subsection D, I didn't have it word for word, and I am not a lawyer, but it reads, it is a defense to prosecution under this section that the interruption, disruption, impediment, or interference alleged consists of speech only, which... In my opinion, it's the same thing as what I just told Alawar, but it might be a little different. I would have to talk to my lawyer. But the city of Galveston has passed a city ordinance that directly contradicts this state statute, the state penal code, and it also contradicts the Constitution. And it says that uh, you can interfere with an officer by talking. And I really hope that they use this unconstitutional ordinance against me because that'll just be the next gift that the city of Galveston gives me. And they've already used it against Good Citizen News. And you're going to hear these officers refer to this ordinance in a little bit and they're going to threaten me with it. And I really honestly think that they are going to try to get a warrant for me for this unconstitutional ordinance. And that'll be all I need to destroy this ordinance and have it done away with for good. Because talking is a First Amendment right. Yes. What, is it, what, is, what does it say for me? What did I just tell you? Subsection D says... Subsection D says speech cannot be interfered. I just told you what it said, man. Oh, good Lord. Grass clippings. You didn't even know what the penal code was. Now you're going to try to correct me on it. I just, I just, asked, I just asked you, what is Texas Penal Code 38.15? You said you didn't know. I'm asking you to tell me. Speech alone cannot be interference. That's what it says. That means me talking. Speech alone. That's what it says verbatim. Speech alone. Subsection D of the penal code. Speech alone cannot be interference. The city of Houston versus Hill ruled abusive speech towards police officers is protected under the First Amendment. I can stand here and call you a mother. Yeah. All right. Well, then off, man. Stop telling me what to do. I'm doing my job. I can talk. 
Yeah, your job is to violate people's rights. They teach y'all wrong, man. If he was a good... What's your name? Yeah, means guys the same. How'd you spell your name, man? You're allowing them to do this shit, man, and you're the supervisor. Pull y'all over for, man. They saw that. Hey man, you should record. I record him. Yeah, record him. Always record him. Hey, hello, bro. <laughs> yeah, look at my shirt. Don't answer questions. Careful, man. Yeah, no, no, no problems, man. You guys have got to learn your rights, man. Y'all need to call a lawyer after this, too. What they, yeah, what they did was illegal, man. Later. 
So I ran into Officer Nino and his partner a little bit later. They immediately go to violating my rights with prior restraint, which this has already been ruled by the Supreme Court. The officers lost their qualified immunity and were successfully sued in the ruling Irizarry versus Yahia. You guys need to stop playing with me. Those are the same two clowns that I just recorded at the store. I ain't going to get out of the damn car, I know that. Oh, look at this shit. See that? I'm shining. I'm fitting to go talk to him. Now I'm going to walk around. Hey man, why y'all want to be dick man? Mr. Freebird. Huh? Mr. Freebird, that's rude. Man, you're the one that's shining your lights in my camera on purpose. You don't think that's rude? I wouldn't even have walked over here if you hadn't have done that bullshit, man. You don't think interrupting our traffic stops rude? What? You don't think interrupting our traffic stops? How am I interrupting? Well, like, you know, we're trying to take. You're sitting in your car? No, when we're on the 59 and J stop, we're trying to conduct investigations on the side of the road. How did I interrupt? You're yelling over. I wasn't yelling, I was talking. But over us. No, I wasn't. Okay. Do you, are you familiar with Texas Penal Code 38.15? Not off the top of my head. You don't even know what, what it is, do you? Off the top that's of the, head, that's no, the that's the that's the penal code for interference. In subsection D, it says speech alone cannot be interference. So how did I interfere? So I've seen some of your videos, sir. Yeah. I can't hear you, you gotta speak up. I said when I transferred departments, I I yeah, share, like, and subscribe, man. And, and you always reference this, okay? And when I looked into it when I came down here. The city also has a city ordinance. That is a yeah, but the city ordinance is unconstitutional, man. You, Go ahead. Look, you, no, I know what you're talking about because you arrested my friend on this city I ordinance. Did, I did not yeah, know. Officer Gardner did. If you pull that shit on me, I, I will have you in a lawsuit so fast, it'll make your head spin. Well, I hope you do. Did your, did your friend, like... He, he hasn't been convicted, and he already is getting a lawsuit. Trust me. Well, no, I, I, I personally... That I'm, city ordinance is unconstitutional. I hope you arrest me for it. Please I'm, do. I'm not arresting you. All right, I'm, I hope you do. I know exactly what you're talking about, though. The okay. same one Officer Gardner used to arrest Austin. It's bullshit. Well, I wasn't there for that city, Yeah, well, he told him to go stand behind Pump 20, and he said, no, I'm not moving. He was 20 feet away. So Gardner went over and arrested him. And then he put in the police report that he arrested him because he was talking too loud. So he's a liar. He lied on the police report. Well, I cannot speak to anything. Yeah, I know. Well, you said you just saw the video. I've seen, I've seen some of them. Yeah, well, you need to go watch that one so you can give your opinion on it. That's what all you cops say. I wasn't there. So, yeah, that's the blue line. That's the blue line. Hey, when you gave me your bad name earlier, I couldn't understand what you said. Can you say it again? It's Officer Nino, N-I-N-O. N-I-N-O? Yes, sir. My badge number is 1031. What about you? Um, Officer Cleese, badge number 1018. Hey, Nino, when was the last time the department uh, tested you for steroids? You're looking kind of buffed up over there, man. I appreciate that, sir. We're all natural. Here, all natural, yes, huh? I take the compliment, though. I, I don't believe you, man. <laughs> Look. <laughs> Why don't we uh, set up a test? I'll pay for it. If you pass it, I'll give you 500 bucks. $500? Yeah. My doctor, my test. I'll go get a cup right now. You can pee in it for me. You have a good night, sir. If you ain't got nothing to lose. Hey, y'all got anything illegal in the car?